What? What? Oh no! This is clickbait. Government bans camping on public land 2021. Well, they are they are restricting lay, uh, camping on certain place it's certain places, okay? Because uh, they've been trashed. I believe they said this was Cottonwood, Arizona. That's uh, what, what is this channel? What's this channel? Oh yeah, enjoy the journey life. They said uh, apparently, uh, enjoy the journey life is a good video here, but it is a little bit misleading, you know. They, they, you can you can still camp on public land, or BLM land, whatever. You can still do that. Okay, they're doing that all over Quartzsite. They've been doing that all over Quartzsite. Yeah, for the uh, Legend RTR 2021. But there is play. There are places where uh, people have uh, trashed them. Uh, you know. There's trash around, there's junked cars. People aren't taking good care of the lands, and so there are places, people are trying to live there permanently. And uh, there are a number of places around the country, especially out west, where uh, yeah, you, can't, you can't camp like overnight, you can't stay there. They're closing stuff off to vehicles. There's a number of pl places where you're not allowed to take vehicles in. People are just trashing some of the land and, uh, and uh, the uh, Enjoy the Journey couple are pretty pissed off about it. Yes! And of course, I guess there's some erosion stuff going on too. You know, they were, you know the land is getting, you know, getting messed up. And you know, you gotta look at Quartzsite. I mean, how many thousands of people go there? You know, driving around. <laughs> And you know it's it's a lot. It's just gravel, dirt, things, and that can wash away. And I don't know. So anyway, a very interesting video here from Enjoy the Journey. I don't know. I've always said that the Blue Wave Odyssey guy here looks a little like Tom Petty. I've always said that. It, it, not really there. Well, the, Tom Petty did kind of have his hair like that, and I don't know. But it, you know, in previous. But he looked a little before, looked a little more like Tom Petty. But anyway, anyway, so they do, he and his wife there, Blue Wave Odyssey, go visit Tom Petty Park in Gainesville, Florida, and a graffiti wall. Uh, we've seen other nomads do that, and it's uh, nice to see them do it, too. I don't know, yeah. I I'm kind of wondering. He looks a little, well, he could look a little more like Tom Petty if he wanted to. A Sasnak Stan still out there in Quartzsite. Riding around uh, on a uh, crazy ATV thingy dingy. Thingy dingy. <laughs> Inspirational nomad. Man, he just can't stop looking at various options in Florida. He's now RV lots for sale in Juno Beach. I, I get the very strong impression he's, if he hasn't already, getting ready to settle down a little bit. You know, I don't know, man. I don't know. Radiator Issues Explained, Nomadic Viking. Good one. Go go watch that one. We say, the greatest nomad ever. No, no, no. I don't know about that. But he's pretty good. Anyway, Van City Van Life Crow. I, we got to just give a shout out to him two months ago. Solo female surviving hard times by finding safety. A million views. A million views. That's only his second most popular video. He did one a year ago, a tiny home tour uh, for almost two million. So uh, he's doing, you know, that was a good one. It, you know, I'm telling you the, the term solo female nomad, we see so many solo female nomads putting that heavily in their clickbait. It must juice the algorithm and get them some more uh, videos. But solo female does does something, you know, I don't know what it is. Uh, you know, now other channels haven't been quite so successful as Van City Van Life in doing the solo female nomad, but uh, Chrome did, Chrome caught the wave. You know, getting a viral video on YouTube is very much like just catching that perfect wave at the beach if you're a surfer or something, you know. Yeah, okay, that's a good wave, that's a good wave, that's okay wave, but then you catch that perfect wave. Whoa! You know, it's kind of like that. There's no way to really predict it. You know, and uh, you, you try. <laughs> this is the end of van life. You know, you can try that. You know, that'll, that'll, you know, sometimes that'll catch the perfect wave and most of the time it doesn't. But solo female nomad, you know, if you keep trying, maybe you'll get a viral video. And uh, congrats to Mr. VCVL Chrome. All right, we got a new one from Mr. Forresty Forest. He lives in a van. Minus 41 degrees, polar vortex. 
Alberta. <laughs> Don't you wish you were there? Don't you wish you were in beautiful Alberta? Canada. Anyway, he's he's got his uh, van cooking. He's he's got the cooking going on. He doesn't he doesn't even need a refrigerator. He said that he's got a refrigerator on order coming for his new van. But he don't even you know you don't need a refrigerator when it's minus forty one degrees outside. All he has to do is put his uh, anything that needs refrigerating. He sticks it down by the door there, and uh, and it gets cold enough. So. <laughs> Uh, anyway, he does a little bit of hiking, but it's even a little cold for him, and he's got some work to do on his uh, uh, new van there, his new-to-him van. Uh, I think he said a new catalytic converter, and he's got some other stuff coming, and he's still working on it. But man, oh man, and we've seen a number of other videos here that are people up in the upper northwest there. I mean, the upper Midwest and up into Canada, where it is minus, minus. 41. Look at it here in Morganton. We went down to minus 24 last night. Brrr. Oh wait, that's plus 24, and that's Fahrenheit. That's yeah. And if it was Celsius, it'd be downright balmy out there. <laughs> Actually, uh, we've got a very quiet weather pattern going on right now. We did have some snow that came up the coast and some rain and stuff over the weekend, uh, but uh, that's pretty much all the way out in Nova Scotia now, so uh, pretty quiet. A little bit of snow flurries and stuff up there in the Chicago area. Hi, Rockford, and even the Pacific Northwest is pretty quiet, and uh, Alberta, yeah, the, the cold don't show up on the radar. And of course, Florida's got a few, uh, Oh, uh, Fort Lauderdale's got a few uh, showers there. Fort Lauderdale, Fort Lauderdale. Oh, that certain nomad we don't talk about, you know, Derek. He uh, signed up for that. He has been pitching that uh, certain, what's it called, nomad internet. And it ain't been working too well lately. Apparently, apparently the company's been having some problems with uh, the internet. And he had to do a little, uh, I'm sorry, thing at the end of his uh, latest video. They're, they're working on the problems, yes. <laughs> but he still says that is better than just about any other on-the-road internet you could get. So I don't know, man. I don't know. That is a big problem for a lot of nomads is, is um, internet on the road. It's a pain in the buttocks. You know what, you know what I mean? It really can be. You know, you got to do cell internet in a lot of places and and you know and yeah you pretty much have to do cell internet because there's really you know unless you're parked in a starbucks parking lot or something and the problem is there's data caps and all this other stuff and and especially if you're a nomad doing a lot of uploading and downloading and you know that kind of thing it can be a real pain you know and, and the other problem is the uploads versus the downloads downloads you know, everybody does downloads if you want to check your email do everything else like that uh, downloads are fairly common but uploads you know they can be a real pain if you're, you know, out on the road and stuff like that. And we've heard nomads that have like, you know, especially on Quartzsite when all the folks were out there, you get the cell towers and then everything gets overloaded. And you try to, you know, you can try to send a, uh, I don't know, a, you know, a, a file, you know, X amount of gigabytes up. And it can sometimes take like hours and hours and hours. You sit there, it's like 1%. And then you come back an hour later and it's 3%. And, you know, just... It, once it gets up there, it's fine, but man, it can be a pain in the butt. Then you drive around and have to look for internet. Maybe you can find a Wi-Fi at a store somewhere and sit out in the parking lot. Maybe that'll be a little faster, but usually for uploads, it isn't. So that is a huge problem for nomads, so yeah. And it continues to be. Oh, yeah. I didn't watch this one, huh? Dose of Wisdom. How much does Forresty Forest make on YouTube? Mm. <laughs> Well, actually, he does probably better on Patreon, but I don't know. Good question. All right, we got an update from Hobo Shoestring, our favorite hobo. He was up in Alaska there, went all the way up to the Arctic Circle, and then his videos just kind of stopped for a week, and uh, now he's back at his uh, Tennessee apartment. And uh, he said, uh, you know, he had the V. He had the V a couple months ago, and, and you know, we got over it. Uh, but then he went and got the, uh, the other V, the vaccine, and he said that made him really, really even almost sicker than the, uh, the V. So, I don't know. He said he's really feeling crappy. And he said he may go to the doctor today if it doesn't, he don't feel any better. So, I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know. They're just telling you what, what uh, Mr. Hobo Shoestring said. Anyway, he said he's not feeling well enough to travel right now. 
but he hopefully will feel better in a few days and maybe do some local stuff. But uh, I, I don't know, maybe the Alaska thing just really took it out of him. Anyway, Hobo Shoestring Mark, kind of down for the count again. Uh, we'll like, we'll keep you updated. Hey, this is an interesting, and, and this is an interesting video if you want to check out and see how the uh, kind of behind the scenes stuff. Method Box. I never heard of this channel. It just came up in my search. But uh, there's a guy by the name of Jake McCollum. He lives in his car. I think he has a, whatever, I don't know. He has a car, just a plain old car. But he is a, he's a pretty big YouTuber. <laughs> and uh, yeah, and, and there he, and he's in the Los Angeles area. And the chat, they basically are interviewing him to find out how much he makes on YouTube and various other things. He's big on DoorDash. He, you know, he has like, oh, whatever, he has like three different apps going at the same time for delivery services, and he'll do that, and he rushes all over Los Angeles, and he sells merch, and he has uh, YouTube, obviously, and he does, uh, anyway, it's a very good video. They kind of break it down, how much he makes a month, and all that other stuff. Kind of look at it like this, you know, how many makes, he makes donations, you know, Good, good amount of money on YouTube, delivery services. He says he can almost match what he makes on YouTube if he has a good month on his delivery service, how much he makes on selling t-shirts and stuff. And then it gets into a lot of his uh, expenses, you know, which are not necessarily cheap. He has uh, a car payment, car insurance, gas, uh, a phone bill, et cetera, et cetera. And you know, that's a lot for insurance, man. 180 a month, wow. For, for I don't know, man. <laughs> but it's a very good video, and you can kind of see he's been able to save up a good amount of money. And he said he wanted, I think he wants to get into real estate eventually. So he's got some plans, but uh, YouTube is an important stepping stone for him. So Jake McCullum, uh, check his channel out. I don't sub to him, I, ju I, I just sub to him because of this video. But uh, he's driving all around, uh, you know, does he does Uber Eats. And he's a hardworking guy, and he's in the L.A. area, and check it out. So, uh, yeah. So, and, he's, and he's also, you know, YouTube, I think, favors the younger people. You know, we older folks here on uh, YouTube just kind of get uh, put on the back burner. You know what I'm saying? I think so. Age discrimination. Ah. Everybody, that ought to do it for the 8th of February. The 8th of February. Huh. Something about today. There's something about today. I, I can't, there was something I was looking forward to today. I, I can't remember what it was. Don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. Something about today. Hmm, anyway. It's Monday. You all have a wonderful rest of your week. I will chat with you later. We got some letters. Got a lot of interesting letters about uh, some folks out in court site that uh, have been criticizing this various channel. We'll be talking about that later in the, my letters video. Mm. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful rest of your February vlog under.